Today and tomorrow are going to be big days for Dominion voting systems as Rupert Murdoch, the head honcho of Fox Corporation himself, is going to be deposed by lawyers for Dominion. So today and tomorrow, Murdoch is scheduled to appear via video. So they're not going to be able to grill him in person, which is a lot more intense, but the lawyers are finally going to get to ask Rupert Murdoch, the billionaire conservative media guru around the planet, exactly what his network was doing, pushing all of these lies about the company following the 2020 election. Here's why this matters. We already have the CEO of Fox news who is on record as saying, we can't let the crazies, uh, you know, take control of everything after the 2020 election. That's what she said in her emails, her memo to the company. You know, we, we've got to put a stop to this. She's just the CEO of the news corporation though. Lachlan Murdoch, who is the president, uh, was deposed last week. And of course, Rupert Murdoch above the president, cause he's the owner, he's getting deposed today and tomorrow. So I'm sure that's not going to be a fun day for him. He's going to have to ask, answer the questions. Why did your CEO tell people not to do this? And then they just did it. Y'all knew this was going to happen, but you sat there and allowed it to happen. Did you do that because the ratings were too good? Did you do it? Cause the advertising money was a little too sweet. Those are questions that he will be asked. I have to imagine in that deposition, and it's going to be very difficult for the 91 year old billionaire to answer those because he knows the truth. The lawyers know the truth. It's almost a leading question. Like just admit that this is what you did so we can get on with our day. Uh, Fox is being sued, of course, for $1.6 billion by Dominion. And, uh, this is one of the first times they haven't been able to weasel out of it. They have tried on multiple different occasions to get this thing dismissed. And all that's happened every time they've gone to court with it is that things have actually gotten worse for them because initially Fox corporation itself wasn't even a part of the lawsuit. But then when Fox's lawyers went to bat for the hosts on the network that were a part of the lawsuit, the dominion was like, you know what? We want to add the actual corporation to the lawsuit as well. This past summer, a judge said, you know what? That's a great idea. Let's just do it. So not only has Fox been unsuccessful in getting it dismissed, they've only gotten themselves into more trouble every time they've gone to court. Truly remarkable. And I do think this is a case that Fox news stands no chance of winning. One of the things that dominion has specifically mentioned in the lawsuit is a broadcast from Sean Hannity in November of 2020, shortly after the election, where he claimed with no evidence at all that dominion voting systems actually had an algorithm that would switch votes, shave them off. He said from Trump and send them over to Biden. That was a claim that Hannity made on the air about dominion. Now that alone is not what Fox news has tried to describe this as. We're just reporting the news as it comes in. That's what they've argued. Like, well, this was a, a newsworthy event. You know, the, whether it was stolen or not, we were just talking about the news of the day. Nope. Your host made a claim not supported by the facts about a company that has now lost business due to this false claim. I mean, that is textbook defamation. That is slander. And Dominion has, in my opinion here, pretty much an airtight case. And today and tomorrow, the owner of this network for maybe one of the first times ever in the United States is going to have to be the one to answer those questions as to why the hell they let statements like that from Hannity and statements from all of these other hosts go out on the air, never issuing a correction, never issuing a retraction poisoning the airwaves, poisoning this company's reputation. Why did you Rupert Murdoch as the owner, let that happen? Unfortunately, we don't get to see the depositions, but I imagine they're going to be pretty awesome. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, 
you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.